So, Arsenal, three. Manchester United, two. Hold that. Hold that. Eddie topped his phone up. Hold that. Hold that. About your coming to beat us at the Emirates. <laughs> okay, mate. Best home record in the league. Best away record in the league. Second most goals in the league. Second best defence in the league. Beating Tottenham twice. Beating Chelsea. Beating Liverpool. Now we've beaten you lot. Hmm. We're winning it. We're winning the league. Listen, big up to everybody. Big up to everybody who watched the watch long. I can't lie. <laughs> that game was hard work. It was hard work. We dug in. We got the job done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 25 shots. I can't remember half of them, if I'm honest. Um, but I can remember the three that went in. And um, oh, I'm out of breath. Whew. The emotions of that game were mad. And listen, big up to Man United as well. I'm not just here to take the mick. Big up to Manchester United. They made that very difficult for us today. And it's nice to see United are on their way back up as well. Listen, I, I'm old man. I'm 41 in June. Uh, I've seen Arsenal Man United proper rivalry. That is a rivalry. That right there is a rivalry. That's there. That there is a rivalry. Not that Tim Pot club down the road that are pretenders that never win anything. Their bridesmaids never the bride. That is a rivalry. And you can see today. Yeah, obviously I watched the game on mute for copyright reasons, but I could imagine the atmosphere was electric in the stadium. Fingernails have been bitten down to the night. You've got no fingernails left. It was on edge. The third goal when it went in, yeah, I didn't celebrate. I was like, he looks offside. And then I waited for VAR before I went mad. Always nice to score in the last minute of a game. Always nice to score in the last minute of the game. And listen, we started mad sloppy in that first half. Uh, make sure you stick a like on the video, by the way. Um, share the content around. Kenny um, will be up next. Kenny's actually at the game. These are the kind of games I miss going to. Like, I miss these kind of games. But yeah, man, what a game. We started slow. Um, looked a little bit nervous. Man City obviously got the win, so they were two points behind us. Started nervous. Ben White, that was one of the worst performances I've seen <laughs> for a long, long time. But listen, it is only one game. He got hooked at half time, rightly so. He probably could have been sent off. After having a yellow, he, he went from behind and, and pushed, I think it was Rashford, over. Um, Tommy came on, looked a lot better, but still some little poor errors. But listen, I ain't going to sit here cussing the team. We're eight, uh, five points clear. Um, we go to player ratings a little bit later, so you'll see the player ratings there. But um, but yeah, man, there were some poor performers today. Martinelli was one of them. Uh, Odegaard was in and out. like Looked good at stages and then just disappeared. And then same with Ericsson on their side, by the way. I didn't know he was on the pitch half the time. Uh, but... But, but we conceded a dumb goal. Thomas Party, sloppy, giving the ball away and then getting spun. And then Rashford shooting from that far out. Great hit, great goal. Shocking from a defensive side of things. But as a as an attacking player, I mean, that's a great finish. It's a great goal. Um, we then scored a fantastic goal as well. What a cross from Granite Xhaka. That cross is one of the best crosses you will see this season. Inch perfect, pinpoint pinpoint cross and I don't know who it was he ran off of either Shaw and Martin I think it was Shaw and Martin is at the back stick that run that Eddie made you can't teach that you've either got that or you ain't you've either got it or you ain't and um yeah man what a header that was prime Alan Shearer header man <laughs> like literally bullet header straight in the back of the net and they're like okay we're cool here now let's step it up we got back in the game we haven't been great but that first half it was not a good look uh we was crying out for Trossard to come on Obviously, he came on at the end. We'll come to that in a minute. Second half, we were like, okay, now let's step it up. Too many touches off the ball. Too slow, too methodical. I know it was a technical game. They were coming to sit back and defend in the second half, especially when they got back to 2-2. The second goal from us, what a strike from Saka, man. Like, he hit the post with another one as well. Um, I thought Luke Shaw did very well with him today, by the way. Yeah, he only got in a couple of times. One time he scored and one time he hit the post. Other than that, Saka was... He put a lovely cross in as well. He put a lovely cross in when there was nobody there. But other than that, it weren't one of his top, top tier games. But listen, who cares? He scored a goal and he was he was nearly scoring a second goal. And he tried and run his nuts off, come back, defended, helping out, stuff like that. I don't think he was superb. Who cares? Yeah, on the other side, Martinelli, I thought that was a bad game from him today. But listen, who cares? We won the game. Uh, they didn't score. Uh, I don't know what our goalkeeper was doing. Uh, with his uh, Hugo Lloris impression, trying to Superman out the box. And then the smallest player on the pitch scores a header. What? 
And at that point, you're like, oh, come on, man. This is ridiculous. They don't deserve to be back in this. It was tense. It was it was nervy. That's how you know this game is a big game. It was, I was on edge. Yeah, like, I was on edge. It was nervous. And that's how you know Man United and Arsenal are both back, by the way. Man United are not a bad team. And um, yes, they missed Casemiro today. I don't care if they want to use that as an excuse. Maybe stop getting booked, mate. You know, we, we got away with today. Our players not getting booked that miss games. Now that goes up to 10 games. So... You know, big up to Saka and Saliba because they, they ain't missed a game. So, yeah, big up to them, man. And then we're sitting there thinking, right, bring Trossard on, bring Trossard on, bring Trossard on, bring Trossard on. And eventually he brings him on. Oh, my days, twinkle toes. My man could not make a mermaid in a phone box. That is how good his technical ability is. That guy's feet, I don't know how much they're insured for, but treble it. The way he was jinking up, twisting everyone up in the box at the end. Oh, my God. Massively involved in the winner. Um, direct. I love him, man. What a signing for us. What a signing. I've been banging that drum for months and months, over a year on this channel. I want to sign Trossard. So big up, man. We've signed him. He came on. He gave us an outlet. He's quick, deceptively as well, because he doesn't look quick, but he gets quicker. Same as Smith Rowe going forward. The more he runs, the faster he gets. His feet are insane. Left foot, right foot, technical level 100. And um, he's clinical in the box. It's a big up to Eddie and Ketia. That was my man of the match today. I don't do player ratings. Kenny and Jez will be doing. Or probably just Jez, to be fair, because Kenny's probably getting back from the game. Um, but my man of the match today was Eddie and Ketia. But it could have been Zinchenko. Could have been Granit Xhaka. Could have been any of them three. So, yeah, man. Gabriel was in with a shout as well. I thought he was superb. Um, Saliba had an off day. I think, um, obviously, we spoke about Ben White. Tommy Asu, still jury's out on him. I'm still not convinced by that guy, but it is what it is. But all in all, three-point collectors. It ain't easy. You've got to go all the way back to Manny. Oh, no, you don't. You all live in Walthamstow and Southall and Fins Finsbury Park <laughs> and Finchley. Hey, right, big up to the Arsenal, man. I am so buzzing we won that game. And, and listen, I've, I've been a fan that has grown up on these games for a long, long time. Um, and to see us both back up there is nice to see. Like, it, it was great with the pizza gate. It was great Fergie Wenger, great George Graham Fergie and all of that. Like, it, it was good, man. It's been great. It's been fantastic. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying seeing it back as well. And um, yeah, man, the scenes in that ground at the end were insane. When we scored the third goal, Zinchenko's celebration, loving it, man, because they know we weren't great today. We weren't fantastically good today. There was too many sloppy errors giving the ball away today, but we scored three goals and we did it right at the death. David De Gea, hope he gets that, um, hope he gets that um, broken rib or whatever it is that he had, or his shoulder, collarbone or whatever, because the way he was falling down on the ground... Hopefully he, get, he comes back to full fitness. I don't wish that on anybody. The way he was rolling around for four minutes in the box. Same with Bruno Fernandes as well, by the way. The way he just went down holding his face um, when he never got touched in the face. Hopefully, I don't know what happened. Maybe he chipped a finger now. I don't know, but he was rolling around. Didn't see him rolling around in stoppage time, though, did we? Unlucky, lads. It is what it is. We are top of the league. See, we are top of the league. We are on 50 points out of 57. We have beaten... Everybody but three teams, these being one of them. Um, but we have only dropped points in three games. And let's be real, all three of them on another day, I know that's a cliche, but on another day, we would have beaten Southampton, Newcastle and got sank against Man United. So it's what it is. I'm just lucky that we beat uh, lucky. I'm just happy that we beat them. I'm happy that certain players played well today. I'm happy for Eddie and Ketia. Listen, he ain't my choice, ain't my cup of tea. But you know what? He got his goals from inside the six-yard box, eight yards out, six yards out. That's where I want to see him more. But we've got to go against Man City next weekend in the FA Cup. And let's not write this cup off, people. This is a cup, again, that I've been brought up on that I want us to win. Let's go and compete. Big pluses today. Trossard. Yeah, big pluses today. Yeah, Zinchenko. Xhaka. Yeah, big plus. Gabriel Magalash. The manager, though, for me, I'm going to say this, and I am going to end on this. The manager needs to bring subs on a little bit earlier. Because that was way too tense. But when he did bring him on, happy days. Happy days. Big up to everybody who's watched, man. Kenny Kenner be doing his. He'll be out in the next 10, 15 minutes. Uh, Jez will be up next after that. And then Matty and maybe uh, Neftali as well. So big up to everyone, man. Big up to all the gooners out there. And uh, yeah, man, we can come with our pigeon chests. Yeah, you see these people behind me? Yeah, that's the standards that I've held this club to since then. They never drop. 
They never drop. Not for me anyway. And it's nice that we're top of the league. Get in the bin. It ain't easy. Hold that. Three point collectors, baby. Catch us if you can, Man City. Adios, amigos. Ciao.